Hello, I am Dr. Saurabh Patwadhan and I would like to introduce the new YouTube channel that I have started. It's called Life of Thalmic Surgery. Do subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive live streaming of ophthalmic surgeries. Of course, my present YouTube channel will continue to have more edited and educational videos. Also visit our website facotraining.org.in and you can submit your own videos for review and publishing on this website. So why are you waiting? So let's get started with excellent videos and education. Hello, I'm Dr. Saurabh Patwadhan from Nandadeep Eye Hospital and Faco Training Center. Auditing your own surgery is very good, but you can take help of an expert as well. So in this video, I'll be auditing a surgical video. The surgeon has done the capsulorexis, looks good. Surgeon has done it through the right side port incision and now going to make the main incision a bit premature entry, I would say. I would like a longer incision. And then the surgeon uses the dominant hand, right dominant hand to make the left side port incision, which I feel should be avoided because it doesn't give the right direction to the incision and may lead to irregular incision not self sealing also if you see the angle between the main incision and the side incision is just 60 degrees which is not going to give a good control over the globe when the surgeon is operating so i would recommend a angle of at least 90 degree or more between the main incision and the left side port incision so that when you are operating when the globe moves away from the surgeon still the surgeon has good control over the globe because of the left side port incision the first hydrodissection did not occur and you can see the ac is deepening that means hydrodissection is not happening uh, but the good thing is that the surgeon continues to do hydrodissection so first the hydrodelineation occurred and then the hydrodissection could be achieved and it is very important so it is good that the surgeon didn't stop after the first second attempt but continued for a good hydrodissection so again reform the anterior chamber with ovd it is very important because before you we do the nuclear rotation it is very important to have a nicely formed anterior chamber and pretty good the nucleus is rotating for the beginners, I would suggest that rotate it at least 4-5 times on both sides so that uh, it helps in good movement of the nucleus and also releases some cortex. The surgeon starts with continuous irrigation on and uh, the trenching has started. So trench and divide technique is being used here. Uh, pretty good uh, trenching being done not much movement of the nucleus which is good you should not be pushing the nucleus and it happens more commonly with harder grade this is grade 1 to 2 cataract so it's going on nicely and central deep trench that is what is recommended we don't need to go till the periphery uh, I would put the instruments little deeper in the trench to divide but uh, being a soft cataract it got divided but I would rather think of uh, putting the Sinsky and uh, probe to a deeper level and here the surgeon starts removing the quadrant it is not the quadrant actually it is the heminucleus and just watch the phaco probe here the surgeon is withdrawing the phaco probe into the incision and also the globe is now getting rotated downward because of the push of the phaco probe and the second half uh, I would prefer that I divide the whole nucleus into four quadrants first before taking out this heminucleus but uh, you can see now there is no support to the heminucleus from the other half and the surgeon cannot chop it well at the same time surgeon is losing control as the globe is rotating downwards the phaco probe is getting withdrawn into the incision and that might hamper the irrigation as well so uh, globe rotation downwards withdrawal of the phaco probe and very anterior phaco all the three things are not good so there might be a wound site edema here and also it is not good for posterior capsule as the irrigation may be compromised because of the withdrawal of the phaco probe and you have a high risk of uh, posterior capsule rupture here though the surgeon is trying to stay very anterior and as I mentioned because of the position of the 
side incision the surgeon cannot control the away movement of the globe for the epinucleus i think uh, this technique used is the sideways uh, phaco tip and uh, aspirated the anterior part of the epinucleus and it uh, came out of the bag and uh, thanks to the good hydro delineation and the dissection which was done initially it was a easy way to do it but again i would prefer the phaco tip to be as central in the safe zone as possible and uh, so the surgery itself uh, ended quite well the surgeon was able to put the eye oil in the bag but these are the mistakes you can see the downward rotated globe and very anterior phaco emulsification the phaco tip not in the central safe position the outcome was good the eye oil was placed in the bag well hydrated incisions and the patient will have very good outcome from the surgery but uh, you can see from the audit that there are a few things which the surgeon can improve upon if you would like to submit your videos anonymously we can review and publish it on my youtube channel also on the website so do visit our website you can send your videos to the website or to me and i will review them i will give suggestions and uh, we'll keep the video anonymous if you wish thank you so much for listening and seeing all my videos